Hi, Ahmed. Yes? It's Cindy. Oh, hello, Cindy. Where are you? Well, that's sort of what I wanted to talk to you about. Okay, go ahead. I was wondering if I could start working from home. From home? You see, I was thinking... That'd be good. Huh? No, nothing, nothing. Please continue. Well, the job that I'm doing at the call center can be easily done from my house. I mean, if I'm on the phone calling people every day, what does it matter if I'm here or there? What are you talking about? I'm talking about the way of the future. Way of the future? Look, Ahmed, I spent at least an hour and 30 minutes stuck in traffic just to get to work and another hour and a half to get back. Would it be more efficient if I just stay home and use those three extra hours to call a client? Cindy, this is highly irregular. But this is the way of the future. It's better for me, it's better for the company. And if you're worried that I won't be working or you're not around to supervise me, just go to the website, husbandtv.com. Go where? Go to the web browser and type in husbandtv.com. Can you see me? Uh, yes, yeah, so where are you? My house! See? You can watch me as long as I'm live streaming. So all you have to do is email me the leads for the day and I'll call from home. This is highly irregular. Irregular but ingenious, Ahmed. Just think of how clear our highways would be if more people were from home. Not to mention the gas money I'd be saving. Hey, I, this is highly irregular. No, Ahmed. This is the oh, way... This is the future. I heard you the first time. But it makes perfect sense. We could be revolutionizing the telemarketing well, industry. if you're willing to accept me for commission. Come on, Ahmed. I thought you were cool. Listen to me. If you're not feeling well... No, I'm in perfect health. And that's another reason why working from home is the way of the future. Just think of how many germs and viruses being spread by all those different people using the same headsets. Well, Cindy, if you want, you can always bring in your own personal headset. But it's not just about the headsets. Entire call center is a hot battery disease. I mean, have you seen the lunchroom lately and the washrooms? Talk about a right breeding ground for contagion. Cindy. I know what I found the other day. I will not have it to guess. Between the tab and the cue of my keyboard, I found a... a pubic hair. Cindy. Is that not the most disgusting thing you can ever imagine? I mean, how did someone manage to get a pubic hair on my keyboard? Cindy, are you sure it was a pubic hair? Some of our employees have curly hair. <sighs> I think I know a pubic hair when I see one. Then I'll talk to the cleaning crew and make sure they are more thorough on the workstation. Look, Ahmed, I don't see why we can't at least try it. This is not the way things are done. But can we at least try it? Look, Cindy, I'll write to the app at the 6 p.m. I'm expecting to see you here tomorrow. I'll talk to you later.